Ever wondered how far we've come with technology? Artificial intelligence, 3D printing, robots were just mere ideas a few decades ago. But what if I tell you that we're still way behind the extraterrestrial life present outside our galaxy? Here, a question arises. Could we match the technological advancements of these extraterrestrial beings in the upcoming years? To understand where we stand in terms of technological advancement, let's have a look at the Kardashev scale. In simple terms, the Kardashev scale is a method of measuring a civilization's level of technological advancement based on the amount of energy it is able to use. It was first proposed in 1964 by Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev. The scale is purely hypothetical and regards energy consumption on a cosmic scale. It divides civilizations into three main civilizations, one, two, and three. However, various extensions of this scale have also been proposed that take it to four, five, six, and even seven. Now, let's discuss what each civilization is and the amount of energy it harvests. Type 1 civilization is the civilization of species that are able to harness all the energy coming their way from their parent star. Sadly, humans haven't reached the first type of civilization as we haven't been able to harness the full energy of the sun coming our way. To become a Type 1 civilization, we have to utilize about 1016 watts of solar energy and we are currently consuming 1013 watts. If we calculate this, then we're currently standing at Type 0.73 civilization. This might look like a relatively small difference, but in order to reach Type 1 civilization, humans would need at least 100 to 200 years. If somehow we manage to reach Type 1 civilization, then we will be able to harness all the energy present on Earth and use it for our needs. We would finally shift from fossil fuels to a much powerful and sustainable source of energy like sunlight, wind and water. With these energy sources being so feasible, we wouldn't have to pay these huge bills. We'll also reach a point where we can harvest the energy from natural disasters and use them to our advantage. Not to mention, we could also control weather with the help of technology and use it according to our needs. This would help in stopping global warming and controlling temperature. We could also prevent natural disasters and live in places that we've never imagined. In simple words, if we manage to reach the Taiwan civilizations, will eliminate all the problems we're facing at the moment. Now, you must be thinking, if Taiwan civilization is this much technologically advanced, then what's in store for Type 2 and 3? I'm glad you asked. Type 2 civilization takes it one step further as here we can harvest the full energy of the parent star. In our case, it would be the Sun. In this stage, we could use the energy from the Sun not only on Earth, but also throughout the solar system. This level of energy would allow humans to travel to and terraform Mars and even planets like Neptune. If humans can live longer to reach this civilization, then we could finally travel faster than light. Type 3 Civilization This is where things go from planets and stars to galaxies. If the human race somehow manages to reach Type 3 Civilization, they can harvest the energy of the entire solar system. It is also the stage where humans will become capable of intergalactic travel via wormholes, intergalactic communication via subspace, galactic engineering and galaxy-scale influence. By the time humans reach this state of the scale, it can be very hard for them to go extinct, as the saying, too big to fail, starts to apply here. From now onwards, all the civilizations are added on by multiple scientists and researchers as Nikolai Kardashev only proposed these three civilizations. Type 4 is where civilization moves from harvesting one galaxy to harvesting multiple galaxies to fulfill their energy needs. Theoretically, to become a Type 4 civilization, one has to harvest all the energy available in not just one galaxy, but in multiple galaxies. Type 5 Civilization from now, things are starting to get crazy. If we can somehow reach the Type 5 civilization, then humans will be able to escape their universe of origin and explore the multiverse. Yeah, 
You've heard it right. Scientists believe that the multiverse exists and there are multiple universes where life is present. Type 5 civilization would have mastered technology to a point where humans could stimulate or build a custom universe with its help. You might think it is unbelievable, but wait till you know what Type 6 has in store for us. With Type 6 civilization, we'll be entering into the megaverse. This civilization will be capable of creating and maintaining the fundamental laws of universes. Type 6 civilization extracts all the energy present in the megaverse, which is basically multiple multiverses. This is where traveling faster than the speed of light would be possible. In this civilization, life forms can travel back in time and alter the events. You might think that it is the absolute point and that no one can go past controlling the megaverse. Well, you might have to hear what's next. Type 7 is where we shift from multiverses and megaverse to a single omniverse. It is often referred to as a godlike civilization as it will be capable of harnessing the power of the entire omniverse, which is the collection of every single universe, multiverse, megaverse, paraverse, 11D dimension and first realm. To put that into perspective, a Type 7 civilization would be 1 billion times more advanced than a Type 6 civilization, which would already be unimaginably advanced. However, the idea behind a Type 7 civilization is purely theoretical and is merely impossible. It is based on the assumption that there is an infinite amount of energy in the universe and that a civilization or individual could eventually harness all of it. If we relate Type 7 civilization to a comic character, then they could be DC's The Presence or Marvel Comics, the one above all. Even if somehow a Type 7 civilization was possible, it is unclear whether humans could ever reach that level of advancement and when. This is nearly impossible as humans are currently standing at Type 0 civilization and to reach even Type 1, it would take us over 100 to 200 years. But what's stopping us from reaching Type 7 civilization? Let's discuss. One of the primary challenges in reaching a Type 7 civilization is the amount of energy required. To do so, one would have to develop new technologies that are beyond our imagination. If somehow we can manage to harness the energy, sustainability is the next challenge. To reach a Type 7 civilization, a civilization should be able to sustain itself for a longer period of time, perhaps even billions of years. This would require developing new forms of energy that are sustainable over the long term. The final challenge is resource allocation. As a civilization becomes more advanced, the demand for resources will increase, leading to difficulty in allocating resources. This should be catered properly, as this could lead to conflicts and social unrest, which could ultimately hinder progress towards a Type 7 civilization. If we can somehow overcome these obstacles, what would the future look like for humans in a Type 7 civilization? First and foremost, humans would become unimaginably advanced and capable of harnessing the power of the entire universe and manipulating energy on a scale that is difficult to comprehend. Secondly, they'd achieve some form of immortality to reach this far. They could manipulate energy on a cosmic scale and transfer their consciousness into new bodies and live billions or trillions of years. Another possibility is that humans would transform into cyborgs, a mix of humans and technology or virtual entities. This will give them unimaginable power to shape the universe and to explore the cosmos. This level of advancement would allow humans to new laws of physics and discover the secrets of the multiverse. All in all, humans in the Type 7 would be unstoppable, and at that stage nothing would be impossible for them. So, where do we stand right now in terms of the development leading to Type 7 civilization? In recent times, humans have discovered some new technologies that can help us move up the Kardashev scale. One of these technologies is quantum computing, which is basically a new type of computing that uses quantum bits to perform calculations. This has revolutionized many fields as of now and is a key source of unlocking the secrets of the universe. Another one is fusion power, which is a type of energy generated by fusing atomic nuclei together. This has the potential of producing higher amounts of energy needed to reach technological advancements. 
Another key discovery is augmented reality. This technology has been around for years, but in recent times, it has been developed to the point that it can be used in moving up the scale. Lastly, space research. Scientists are constantly exploring different parts of the space and coming up with different ways of making space travel possible. This is also a key resource in helping humans move up the Kardashev scale. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video of MoTeC. If you did, then don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family to let them know what's in store for them in the future.